What's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we will be continuing from where we left off in our previous video in our previous video we saw how to sort different uh, columns in our data table right so uh, in this video we will be seeing how to set custom filters and then filter out our data based on our uh, based on specific criteria in our uh, data tables uh, yeah let's jump right into the code guys if you remember this was the uh, where we left off in our previous video right we could just you know perform some basic sorting uh, using these column headers in uh, in our data tables so in this video let's see how to filter out this data that's get, uh, that is appearing in our uh, tables filtering you might have already guessed it by now uh, custom filtering is pretty much easy data tables basically you know uh, wait let me just you know stop this and then open up the code data tables basically use this data source right and this data source is an observable which is given as input to the uh, data table uh, and it will simply load data from there and then uh, show it in, a, in the form of a table so if you set a custom filter obviously you would need to uh, query for results based on that criteria and then uh, return an observable which we will be giving it giving as input to this data source which means that uh, the values based on that criteria alone will get displayed in our table it's as simple as that let's see how to do that uh, uh, in this video okay uh, first let's go ahead and uh, create a simple form through which our uh, user can give some criteria to be filtered criteria for the data to be filtered in our uh, data table so let me just speed this up Okay, uh, I have simply added two select fields and uh, the first select field will be for the column, this one, where is it, this column, right? Uh, right now I am just showing you an example where I will be trying to filter out data based on the age and grade, okay. Uh, so I am specifying giving two options in the uh, select, under the select. And uh, the second one is a criteria column, uh, criteria select uh, option, wherein you can give like greater than age greater than this number or uh, age equals this number or grade uh, equals something, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, oh, uh, grade can't be greater than or less than, right? So what we'll do is, uh, Uh, okay, now uh, th this will uh, enable us to filter out, give a set us a criteria based on uh, age or grade. And then uh, I am simply having a input field for the uh, value which we need to get from the user. Uh, and a button that will enable us to filter the, da filter the data in the data table. Okay, uh, that's all I am doing. It's pretty much simple. Once I run this, you will see how it looks. Okay. Uh, now I'll just get into app.component.es and then uh, write filter data, right? Filter data. And uh, I'll write it in the service. I'll write a function, new function. Filter data, data, and uh, custom filters. Inside this, what I'll do is uh, I'll return a new forms, return new. Promise resolve inside this if uh, custom filters dot um, 
criteria criteria equals blank then reject mm, okay uh, that's done uh, the first one the custom filters dot field value won't be blank since uh, mm, or, or how do I say this it won't be blank since we are already setting it to be age right so uh, uh, it's enough that we ch check just for criteria and filter value so filter value if it's blank then obviously we have nothing to filter right filter start uh, filter value filter value was it filter value uh, equals blank then again reject now uh, we just need to write a query and then return an observable uh, so we'll do that this dot afs dot collection uh, students ref ref dot where um, first field will be the custom filters dot uh, field second one will be the custom filters dot uh, criteria and the third one will be the custom filters dot um, what was it filter value right okay and dot value changes which means that an observable will be uh, we can simply resolve this whole thing right um, resolve Yeah. so uh, an observable will be returned based on these three uh, based on this query okay that observable will have all the values in the day uh, values pulled from the collection based on this criteria so I'll go back here and then uh, this dot filter mm, not filter student right student dot filter data uh, this dot uh, filter dot then I'll be getting a response which will be the observable right now I can't simply give this dot data source equals response this is not possible because we need to have a proper connect function and a disconnect function inside the class instance that we are giving as the data source input right uh, so what we'll do is we'll export another class containing all these we don't need to do sorting sorting you have already seen in the seen extensively in the last video right so we'll remove all this remove all these as well not needed uh, and here sort is not needed we'll simply have private uh, input where okay input input observable okay mm, student not data source this is filtered data source filtered data source uh, okay and uh, I'll close this as well oh, probably closed yeah is it showing an error source equals new uh, filtered data source and uh, this dot uh, not this dot rest and here inside this return uh, uh, input ops This dot input ops. Still, I don't know what's wrong with this. No way. What's wrong? Yeah. Now let's. Uh, I hope you understood what I did here, guys. Uh, 
uh, I I have simply used a couple of select fields to get criteria from the uh, user a custom filter that's what I mean by criteria like uh, age greater than 30 or grade equals uh, A or grade equals B and stuff like that and then I am filtering the data showing the data uh, pertaining to that particular criteria that the user has set okay uh, so I'm getting the criteria from the user and then doing a query pulling back doing a query here I'll show you doing a query here ref dot where uh, this field uh, and greater than or less than or equal to that thing and uh, custom filters dot filter value will be like uh, the value which we sent like uh, grade equals equals D that's what we are doing here grade equals equals D and once uh, this query is executed an observable will be returned which will contain the values corresponding pertaining to that particular criteria this observable what i'm doing here is don't get confused in this uh, at that observable i can't straight away give it in uh, data source okay uh, so what i'm doing is i'm creating another class a simple class and then inside that class i'm sending that observable that class contains two connect and disconnect methods and uh, once again i'm returning that same observable from the connect method so that this entire instance of uh, this class can be given as uh, input for that data source this data source will be used by the data table which will then uh, try to connect to the uh, use the connect method and uh, once it uses the connect method our observable will get returned it will take the values in the observable and display it in the column that's all that's happening here that i have said if you hadn't understood or if you had difficulty following in what i said ju just now kindly wait once this starts running you'll understand it a bit uh, better so i'll go here and then simply give in this so and wait for it okay so uh, now we'll just try filtering the filtering this data table using the age column i'll simply give greater than and uh, give 25 okay so now uh, we should be getting steve irwin and uh, ian right all the other data would vanish let's see if that happens okay nothing happened this my internet connection yeah i'm internet connection Okay, nothing happens why let's just uh, custom filters dot field criteria filter value and here again i am sending oh this is age sorry guys this should be actually the name of the column right in uh, name as in how it is stored on uh, firestore right so it should be student age and uh, Similarly, go here. This would be student age, and this would be student grade. Okay. Uh, here again, it would be student age, and this would be student grade. Let's save this. Now let's see. Now let's see if our uh, thing works fine so once again we'll try setting the why it should show less than as well right we didn't save that this is not student grade this is student age sorry okay now let's check whether it is 25 greater than 25 so i should be getting the steve irwin and uh, ian uh, data alone rows alone wow it works fine right so greater than 25 30 31 and 34 so now let's check whether it's lesser than um, 30 so these three except these three columns all the other all lesser than 31 okay so except these two ian and steve all the other uh, rows should get returned right let's check See, Ian and Steve are not there, but the rest of the stuff is getting displayed here, right? So now let's just check uh, 25. 25 appears three times, right? So I will give equals 25. And if I check filter, it's cool, right? Let's do for grade as well. Uh, grade, uh, I have just given equals and uh, grade equals B. Those who are with the grade B uh, alone are getting uh, displayed, right? So now you see how it easy it is to set custom filters in our uh, data table, right? 
so this is how you do it guys uh, now you might ask me how to clear all these filters and then uh, you know go back to our reset back to our original uh, data table it's pretty much simple many of you would have guessed it by now uh, simply give a new button and then here instead of filter data reset filters Reset filters. Okay, go back into app dot component dot es. Write another function. Reset filters. This dot data source equals new student data source. This dot student database. This dot sort. Now once again, I am uh, age greater than 30 and setting some filters and getting two values. If I reset filters, all the other values are getting displayed and I can sort uh, in that as well as you can see here, right? So yeah guys, this is what this concludes our uh, series of videos on data tables. Now we have seen how to create data tables using material to sort the data in those tables and filter creating custom filters uh, to filter out the rows getting displayed in the data table uh, if you would like pagination as well kindly leave me a comment but officially this ends up our series on the data tables and i'm moving on to more cool stuff that i have to show uh, to you guys so yeah if you like this kindly hit the like button uh, and subscribe to my channel stay tuned to watch more cool stuff like this guys share this video with someone uh, who knows they might be struggling with uh, with this and you might help them so yeah guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye